Please welcome to the stage Dr. Robin Niblett, Director of the Royal Institute of International Affairs, Chatham House. Thank you very much, uh, Slavomir. It's such a pleasure to be back in Warsaw. Um, as you said, we were fortunate to just squeeze in the fourth edition of the Belvedere Forum in London uh, just before um, the full extent of this pandemic became apparent uh, to all of our governments and uh, the kind of lockdown that ensued. So we've only had an 18-month gap or so, which is incredibly important. So we're delighted to be co-hosting this fifth edition of the Belvedere Forum um, with you, with PISM. Um, well, the second that we formally co-hosted, um, uh, having allowed our two respective uh, ministries of foreign affairs to step back and, and us take up the lead. Um, it's especially important, I think, uh, this forum, because it is an essential bilateral relationship that we represent here. Uh, it's an essential bilateral relationship for both countries, uh, where two large European states who share partly because in our own way we're on peripheries of some definitions of Europe, um, uh, we share some similar perspectives to our security threats, to the importance uh, of alliances, um, and we've built up those bonds uh, at a very important level through shared historical experience, especially between our two, our two governments. But um, I think what's so important about this relationship is that it is also a personal one. It is a people-to-people -people, um, uh, relationship that goes deep. It goes into the 1930s and 40s when so many people uh, from Poland came to the United Kingdom during the Second World War. Deep bonds were forged not just between, again, our governments, between our peoples, and we were able to show uh, some of that long personal history in the exhibition of photographs that we hosted at Chatham House uh, uh, at the same time as the Belvedere Forum last year. So I think uh, the Belvedere Forum, in a way, uh, celebrates the breadth of the relationship. It is a dialogue, and it was designed to be, by our respective ministries and by us, to be a dialogue between our civil societies that includes our governments. Um, hence, most of the participants here, and most of the participants, sadly, not here uh, with us today, uh, but who were with us in London and will be with us again here in Warsaw and in London, are from the civil society community, from NGOs, uh, academia, uh, other think tanks, entrepreneurs as well, and importantly and increasingly uh, youth activists and people from uh, the younger generations, I will say. And also, parliamentarians, and I want to thank in particular those who made it over here from the United Kingdom, as well as those represented here from Poland. They are ultimately representatives of citizens, I think count as part of that civil society in our mind. Um, strong civil societies are part of the bedrock of our liberal democratic systems of government. Along with independent media, independent judiciary, uh, we help hold our governments to account. I think we reflect the diversity and the plurality of our political systems. And this is what makes the Belvedere Forum distinct from the many other forms of bilateral cooperation that already take place uh, between our countries and between our governments. And so we've tried to capture that distinctiveness in the agenda itself, which is not just dealing with issues of international affairs, which are very dear to my heart uh, and to Slavomir's and, and those of my colleagues from, from Chatham House and PISM, but also talking about uh, uh, navigating a just energy transition, dealing with the post-COVID or the continuing COVID or the endemic uh, uh, context in which we're in, Polish-British cultural relations, trade, um, it's that breadth of that agenda that affects all of our citizens that we're hoping to capture today. So thank you, uh, everyone, for being here. We're, I'm especially grateful to all of our British colleagues who, who came over, uh, as Slavomir said, to join us here in Warsaw. Incredibly important they did. Uh, thank you, Slavomir, to you, your great team, uh, who have really carried a lot of the heavy burden here uh, to bring this off, uh, which is very complex logistically. I do want to thank Anna Clunes and the British Embassy and the FCDO for all of their support uh, to help us uh, pull this uh, together. Uh, and obviously also my Chatham House colleagues, uh, Hans Kunani, uh, uh, leading our Europe program, uh, and Anna Durant-Hayes, who really has been in the engine room making uh, this possible. So good to get your thanks in early, but uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, a super Belvedere forum. Thank you very much for being with us.